everybody, it's Fly Miner out here on the scene again. We survived a absolutely fabulous campfire last night. Made some homemade pizza, Boondockers pizza on the grill. Everybody got a slice of that. Somebody brought a bag of truffles. So you know that was one heck of a party. Anyway, we all got some sleep last night. It's day three or four out here. So after about four days, we start to acclimate, sleep a little better at 7,200 feet. And uh, so we uh, shifted gears, or I did, and um, started digging in a new spot today. So I'll show you what I got just in the first test pan here. We got the, uh, the Jackery uh, solar panels up here. That thing's been working really good. Runs these pumps inside the uh, sluice box all day long. I've got two 1250 pumps on each side. And uh, it, it just runs it all day, plus it charges up my SATCOM, my cell phone, my iPad, everything else I can find out here to charge. So it's been working real good. And I uh, just, just uh, ran a bucket of overburden on top of um, that green mat. I just pulled that. I'm not going to do a clean out until we leave uh, in a couple hours to go back for that potluck we're having tonight. So uh, I'm sure there's some downrange in there, but uh, right out of the indicator... Matt, I'll show you here. Uh, we got three or four little pickers. Let's see if I can hold it still, pan at the same time. So we went into some black organic material, and um, I thought it was just. In fact, I pulled it back and pushed it to the side, but I ran some because it's laying right on top of some bedrock. You can see right there, shake it down a little bit more for you. Yeah. Well, there's four of those in there somewhere, but I'm too it's too awkward for me to pan right now. But all in all, not too bad. It's it's picking up in size and ease of getting it. There's one right there, and there's one a long piece right there, kind of cool looking. That one's flat, but a little bigger. So there's a few more in there too. But anyway, I'll show you where we're at. The mine in Hawaiian up here. He said the love shack and he is old school panning on this out outing today. So uh yeah, still collecting. Yeah. He's just sitting there panning old school and I tell you there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. We don't need any big fancy trommels and stuff. And he just got a couple nice pieces. I got five already. Five, yeah. We got these big boulders right here. So yesterday I went out and dug down in there the last couple days, following that bedrock, stepping it down. Lauren's working over here today, going back in there. But where we really found most of it originally was here. There's just so much heavy rock and overburden on it that we're, we're kind of shut down there unless we had some, some, a lot of help to get this stuff out of here. But, so I came out today and I'm working this area right here. Now that's bedrock. And if you, I don't know if you can tell by the video, but this drops off deep here, probably two feet deep. Way down there, I was chipping away that hard pack, getting some pickers, but not much. So I came out this morning, and this this was all pulled back to about here. So I went into this black stuff right here, and I started pulling it back just like this. And this is all real soft decomposing quartz and laying right on top of that bedrock. So I just chipped away, and I had to come up top to get room to work. And all this black stuff came down. So I'm within about two, three, four inches of the bedrock. So I ran it, and sure enough, you saw what I got back there. So we're going to continue to work this and run even this looks like uh, potting soil and keep breaking up some of this bedrock here and, uh, and see if it keeps paying up. But it's, it's flat right here, and this is kind of where we originally found it in a flat area. This thing trends down and it dives on us, and that's kind of where we lost the gold. Although the geology looks really good for it, you'd think it'd be still good. Anyway, back to work.
Not bad, a little better than I planned. So it's a little small, but it's round. <laughs> Let's see if I can grab it. There you go. I want to drop that guy. Yeah, kind of a cute little guy. Let's listen. Oh yeah, that's gold. That's gold, folks. I like that. It's shiny. It's chunky. <laughs> no, I think it's there's there's more pockets in there. I'm sure of it. Is there's a really cool piece in here. This one. Look at that. Let's zoom in on it. Look at the shape of that guy. So interesting gold. Not a lot of it, but interesting. All pretty flat. There's a couple of little tiny pickers, but not much. Not bad for about 10, maybe 12 buckets.